Oh, sorry. The game passed. Two made us for the for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. La 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 can't leave yourself open to Triple H like you this. No more energy, boy. Oh! No. oh. Even I was it out. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this oh. I am the beast. I don't know how Shawn Michaels is going to be impartial here tonight after what Triple H did to him last week with that backbreaker onto the steel chair. Oh, I agree, Cole. Michaels could snap at any moment and cost himself the World Heavyweight Championship. And then the biggest question remaining is what would happen to the World Heavyweight Championship match at Armageddon? Hopefully, we won't have to worry about that, but I wouldn't be shocked if we did. The animosity between Triple H and Shawn Michaels is well documented. But let's not forget that Rob Van Dam was also in that Elimination Chamber match that Shawn Michaels won at Survivor Series. Could there be any lingering animosity Get down. between RBD and HBK here tonight, King? I don't think so, Cole. Unfortunately for Rob Van Dam, he was eliminated from the match by the time Michaels entered. If there's any animosity on RBD's part, it would just be sour grapes. Look at the intensity of Triple H. Just scary. He's got him hooked. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Oh, come on, King. Why in the world would you say that? What? My name is Spinebuster. Right. Let's go. He's begging for it. Yeah, you're begging for it. One, two, three, what? Brother. Oh no, look at this. Yeah, Shawn Michaels reluctantly counting the one, two, three. I know Shawn Michaels hates that. <laughs> but the game shoving it right in Michaels' face. One, two, three, and now what? Oh, look at this. Triple H demanded that Shawn Michaels raise the game's hand in victory. Here, I guess he's going to have to. Throw and do it. Oh! No, he isn't! <laughs> Michaels unloaded on Triple H and Triple H turned to the table. And another brawl is broken out between these two. Oh my gosh, the fists are flying. The game and Shawn Michaels going at it. Emotions running oh. so high oh. between these oh. two men. Oh. They can't oh. stand How many punches can it <laughs> so personal each and every week. Well, they got here. No! I think one punch can. One punch. Finally, 
probably some help out here. And yeah, they're gonna have to try oh! Boom! Oh! music! Well, Triple H may have won this match, but he sure didn't win the fight. Woo! Yeah, this is how we do it. The King of Kings, the Heartbreak Kid, two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. The first fall, a knockdown drag him out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage, where victory is won from the top of a ladder. <laughs> Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels on the elbow from the top of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. Thank you. Legendary world heavyweight champion Ric Flair surprisingly showed a sign of support for the new champion. There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. The kid up on the rafters said, hey, nature boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. At Armageddon, the man, the bigger, better version, the best wrestler alive today, Triple H. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! Oh, no! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Oh, oh my God, he's pounding that ladder to the top. No! Oh, God, no! Michaels, the elbow off the top of the cinema. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three stages of hell <laughs> start about the game turn in you skin in you Haha <laughs> I'm again one of the paper views that don't appear anymore. <sighs> the following contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship and is scheduled for the best two out of three fall. The first ball will be a street fight. The second ball will be held inside a steel cage. And the third ball, if necessary, will be a letter match. At this time, accompanied by Nature Boy Ric Flair, here is the challenger <laughs> from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, pounds. Triple, Triple A. Triple H is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Cerebral Assassin is a calculating career killer. And tonight the game wants to win the world title. And he would love to end Shawn Michaels' career once and for all while he's at it. Well, you're right about that, Cole. We've heard it over and over. The end is near. And the game may be the end of Shawn Michaels right here tonight. Texas, weighing 225 pounds, pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, John Michaels. After 
what we saw on Raw last week with Shawn Michaels jumping off that semi and driving his elbow into Triple H while he was in a dumpster. I think that answered the question as to whether it's going to be Shawn Michaels or whether it's going to be HBK here tonight. That was HBK all the way. Yeah, but I don't know if that truly did answer the question. Sure, that was HBK. That was the showstopper jumping off the top of that semi. But if you ask me, that was Shawn Michaels who had to lay in wait and hit Triple H with a shovel to get him into that position in the first place. Now what's going to happen tonight when they face each other nose to nose? Shawn Michaels. And look at what he's doing, Kay. Yeah, he's mocking Ric Flair. That strut. Not many people can mock Nate to get away with it. Oh, and Flair's livid. And Triple H trying to call Flair down. Oh, the master of the mind games, Shawn Michaels. And, oh, yeah. What? Is the referee throwing? Oh, no. He's throwing, <laughs> not only throwing Flair out of here, he threw him down on the ground. Shawn Michaels, follow. what a ploy by Michaels. This is the ultimate humiliation for the nature boy, Ric Flair. Let's stop. Oh, what about this? This match is underway. Minus the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! This is the first fall in this match, and it is a street fight. No disqualifications, no countouts. The match will continue until one man either loses by pinfall or submission. Anything goes in a street fight. Yeah, and with the abuse that both these men are likely to go through under these street fight rules, you gotta believe that whoever wins this first fall is gonna have a huge advantage. Good point, King, because no matter how resilient both Triple H and Shawn Michaels are, whichever one loses this first fall may not be able to recuperate from the punishment he suffers in this street fight environment. I can't believe Shawn Michaels coming back after four years, not only just to be good, but to be great, to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the oh, world bet. that could have done that. Well, we've seen Triple H come back from some great injury himself, Cole. I low mean, blow, brother, himself, low blow. The trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series? Heck, you could probably cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. Oh. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. Alama. What offense Shawn Michaels is showing at this point? Shawn Michaels is not liking this. <laughs> so what is this? Is this a match option? Oh no 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 no. So is this match? Oh crap. Then I didn't see that. No. I don't Blades know. knows how to polish off an opponent. He's got him. Ooh. Well, nobody knows better than Triple H the damage that HBK's back has suffered throughout the years. Much of it at the hands of Triple H himself. Well, you gotta wonder, King, how vulnerable is Shawn Michaels' lower back? And how Ooh. crucial a factor will his back be in this match? Well, it's got a big bullseye on it, that's for sure. And the cerebral assassin will take dead aim at it. Look at that! Onto your face. Onto your face. Onto your face. Triple H, what offense! Nature of the three stages fight. of hell match from the chaos of a street fight to the steel cage to the ladder match You can't help but think the rules favor Triple H. Well, he is bigger and stronger the two King But you're probably right. There's no way that size and strength advantage of the number one contender won't come into play And let's not forget something else that works on, in Triple H's favor on the here tonight. Double. He's got tremendous history in this type of contest Maybe the greatest moment of his career came in a three stages of hell match. You're talking about Triple H's finest hour at No Way Out in 2001. Hey, he beat Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. Two straight falls in a three fall match. What an incredible performance. Okay. Shawn Michaels uh, is dug down deep. He's dug down like he has uh, so many times over his career. 
think that it's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant for so many in the WWE universe. Away from the ring for over four years, King. Oh, jeez. If there's anybody in the...